Hey everybody, today Rado runs through the press room at Essen Spiel Taga 2015. I did one of these last year, I'm going to do it again because everybody seemed to like it, so sit down, get comfortable because this is going to take a while. I am going to show you probably now 95% of all games that are shown here this year at the Essen Game F Festival convention thing. So right, are you ready? Let's get going. Got to get set up here box that has is full of games at the moment it has been with me every step of the way for four days and I dare not let it leave my side so I'll just be dragging this along with me let's get going so oh people didn't watch this last year there is a section here at Essen devoted to basically having pretty much all, publishers can come up and set up every single game they want to all the components are up here and members of the press ie those with the press badge like me get to come up here and look at them. And the weird thing is, this is a, uh, a ghost town for almost the entire show. It's incredibly useful and powerful tool, but what the heck, you guys will get to see a guided tour of it, so let's get going. Starting with Baby Blues, obviously, and what is this? Pinata Party. Neither of which I paid much attention. I've heard of Baby Blues, but I know Jen wouldn't like it. Here is a lovely chess set, although I think there's more to this than just chess, but unfortunately I can't read that because it's all Alf Deutsch. And continuing on, some uh, 25 card game, and oh, something with a dice tower. Let's come around here. Folks, of course, you might want to watch this at t double speed because it's going to take a while. Cocoon World, maybe? Cocoon World, the board game. So I could read all about this. I could try out its dice tower. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely fantastic that all this is here for us. Um, and then there's, what the heck, Zombie Tower. Oh, I think I've seen this at previous E3s, but it's not set up here right now. But moving on, let's see. Oh, big box. You do me wrong. So, um, E Raptors Organizer, compatible with Eldritch Horror. Oh, okay, that's pretty clever. Alrighty. And Aqua Park. I actually saw a review of this from Game Boy Geek. He did a great job on that. Ooh, what is this? I did not see the touchstone. What do you do with this? These stones must slide in here somehow. And there's dice and there's ramps. It's all, well, that looks cool. I have no idea what it is though. Ooh, I so wanted to try this. I was actually, I was hoping I'd pick up a copy, but my voters in the, what game should I pick up at Essen didn't want to. My understanding is this game is players take turns taking cards and as they, you know, take more and more cards, they reveal what's underneath and, you know, then they use the cards they've gotten to fight the evil things that they reveal. It looks like a really cool, clever game, Sigil. Um, I hope to try it someday, maybe when the voters decide I should from um, Capsicum Games. Yeah, it looks really neat. And yeah, it, it, you can't quite tell from this video, but it has a very nice starting presence. Um, you know, perfect, well, not perfect information because you're revealing all the stuff, but it looks really neat. And then casting. I think this is a three plus player or even four player, so I haven't paid much attention to it. Cute cartoony game about the movie industry. Watson and Holmes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they left early. So you can't see that. They, they did have a setup of Watson and Holmes here, but I picked up a copy. I'll be doing a run through for it when I get home. Hello. Hi. Sorry, don't mind me. And let's see here. Visit us at D117, whoever we are. Some kind of card game. Oh, it says over there. I'll get to that in a second. Meanwhile, Faith, the RPG. This is a really cool idea. I actually talked to the developer out because I thought about maybe doing a run through for Kickstarter. This man here is. Hi. hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi. I think he's just looking at me confused. Why am I talking to myself? But um, it's an RPG that's pretty much almost entirely card driven. It looks really gorgeous and beautiful, but I just wasn't sure, like all RPGs, if it would work well with two. So I passed, but I wonder if I was wrong. Let's see. Andromeda. Okay. Right. Oh, I remember the. Oh, no. Do I? A space tech exploration game. Oh, yes. I was really interested in this game, but again, the voters decided nope, you shouldn't get that, Rado. And that's what I'm missing out on. Cool little. Look at these adorable little guys. Oh, they're so cute. And obviously a modular exploration board, some custom dice, but the voters said no to Andromeda. Okay, Clask, all right? Get your hand under that table. Try. Okay, watch out for the hole. We'll do that. What do I do under the table? Oh, here we go. Here we go. So I do these sorts of things and, oh, ah, all right. Put the marble out somewhere I could hit it. I will try to hit it in the hole. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, I'm destroying everything. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's just walk away. No one needs to know. Moving on. <laughs> um, 
civilizations. I picked up a copy of this. We'll be doing that. I've already done a run through for uh, oh, five seals of magic. And oh, I hope to get a copy of Bastion soon because it looks gorgeous. A really cool cooperative sort of tower defense type game. Let's see over here. Look at this. Epic's Haven. I will touch. I will pick up. Oh, what can I pick up? Let's peek. Oh, oh maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I don't want to break it. But I'm going to peek anyway. Ta-da! Oh, that's pretty cool. See? That's what's in here. Nothing much. But you could learn more if you're... Oh, can I open this up? Oh, my. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Okay. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, fixed. No. Ah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, moving on. <laughs> um, nobody tell. Shuffle heroes. Really nice art. Some kind of Magic the Gathering type thing, I assume. I don't know. And let's see. Ooh. What a lovely... That is... Does this come with this? Wow. This is really nice. This is real wood. I guess some kind of faux leather. This... Uh, no, it, it couldn't fit in this box. Oh, dear. All right. So I don't know what this game is about. Sirens in Seeked, but looks neat. And, oh, let's go look outside. Although, hey, what's this? What do we have here? That's right, Jen is here at Essence selling her glass. I put this up here the other day. I don't know if it brought her any business, but she's done fantastically. But it's a beautiful day here in Germany. And here I am inside. Let's see, continuing on. This is gonna take a while if I go into this little detail. But Dr. Eureka, Oh, 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 yeah, okay, so trying to get these, and yeah, that looks nice. That looks like a lovely little game for families and kids. New York 1901, I've already covered. Looks like another family, oh, giraffe meter Make a giraffe like that, I guess? I don't know. D, 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 human interface, cyberpunk board game. All righty. Cool little miniatures. I wonder if they're pre-painted with the game. No, nah, probably not. They probably come. Look, all oh, these are metal. I, well, not my kind of thing, probably. All right, we have finished the first, folks. You think, oh, well, that was a nice little trip. Oh, let's put this back. Okay. Deet, deet, deet. There we go. All right. It's as if I was never here. Let's move on to the next section, shall we? Okay, come here, you. Wow. All right. We have just scratched the surface. There is so much to see. Um, I don't know what the order is. I don't, you know, I don't know if there's... A pecking order for publishers, but let's see. Here's Platnik with Pascal's Rocket. They have done, I don't know, I have not heard of this game at all. But here's what it looks like in person. Looks neat. Some kind of mix of high tech and ancient Aztec civilization, maybe? I don't know. But uh, I'm, I must have missed it. Oh, and then there's Spyfall or Agent Undercover. Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, let's move. Let's stick to this wall. Some abstract games, Gravi Ooh. gravity maze. Build a maze out of these 3D things. Let gravity take over. Some family fun stuff. Um, some of these publishers really go all out. My understanding is the day before Essen, uh, Essen starts on Thursday, so on Wednesday, this whole area is completely full, chock-a-block, um, shoulder to shoulder with press coming in here because the show hasn't started doing interviews with designers with publishers talking about all this stuff and then for the rest of the show it's just all sitting here all this great cool stuff um, there's Council of Four which I need to go pick up before the day is out Car and Courier Sosa I talked to Matt Gertz yesterday about that oh my gosh this is so amazing I haven't played it yet and Imperial Assault okay everybody's seen that oh here's oh I get to see the Mysterium I've not seen the new Mysterium all right so those are some lovely crystal balls and the timer, which really shouldn't have, and the ravens, and coming around here, hiding behind. I am the ghost now. Here's where all the... So, there you go, folks. Mysterium is great. Man, I'd love to get a copy of this, but I'm so happy with my original one. I just don't know if I can do it. Xeno Ships, that's been out for a while. Arcadia Quest, should I have gone for that? Is it now a full co-op game? It's still player versus player, right? I mean, as always, you know, these minis are just insane. Just so gorgeous. But, oh man, always with the player versus player with these guys. Cool mini or not. Ah, let's see. Zombie side, Dogs of War, Blood Rage. Oh man, everybody's. Oh, that is certainly gorgeous. That is certainly amazing looking. But, yeah, just so not our style. Oh well. 
Uh, Mage Knight, oldie but a goodie. Kimball's Cascade, flick him up. Hmm, that's adorable. And, oh, time stories. All right, which I've already, oops, ah, sorry, forgot to zoom out, folks, and which I've already done a run through for. And then Colt Express and Discoveries. Moving on, let's see some new stuff. Okay, this is gonna take a while. I told you to get comfortable, right? Let's keep going. Oh, there's actually signs. Signs, so it's Heidelberger continuing on. We've got, oh, Celestia, right. I'm supposed to pick this up. I haven't picked it up yet. I better do it before time runs out. This cool little dirigible that everybody puts their meeples on looks absolutely adorable. And the art on these is fantastic as well. Looks very, very pretty. I know it's a, a fun little uh, push your luck thing. Epics. Yeah, these all look very nice. The Lighthouse game. Oh, they don't have it actually set up. That's odd. They've just got the box there to talk about it. Brick party. Ooh. Now, those aren't Legos, are they? They're not actually Legos. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, are they actually Legos? I can't quite tell. Nope, they're Kobe bricks, whatever a Kobe brick is. All righty. Continuing on, there's good old Galaxy Defender. I'm going to leave the box there for a second. All righty. And Mistfall and Orkenstrom, which I've totally missed this. I have no idea what Orkenstrom is. I think I saw a life-size version of this game with people reaching their hands in to try to do something. What is this? This is Monster Tower or Mons Monstern or something like that. I, I believe it's something, although I don't really know. I just saw some people playing it. Um, let's see. Something in a very foreign... Oh, Big Brain Man. Evolution, the original evolution from the Russian publishers. Swords and Bagpipes, all very nice looking. Karuba. Right, so I did pick up Adventureland because the voters voted for that, and it looks gorgeous. I'll probably be doing a run through hopefully before the end of the year on this. But the voters did not choose Karuba, which I was almost more excited about from Rudiger Dorn. I really love the idea of this that every turn players get the same tile. Oh, wow, these are glued down. All right, so no one can steal them. So everybody get, are these? Yeah. Oh, wow. These guys are serious. No, Haba is not messing around. Nobody's walking away with any of this. Even this? Nope. Aha! It's mine, but I will leave it there. Um, this looks like a really cool game. I would have loved to do it, but the voters chose otherwise. And Spookies, I think, here is still a little bit on the, you know, these ones were the heavier family level games, all three of these from Haba this year, but this one still seemed a little too light for me and Jen. Coming over here, Orleans, the invasion. I cannot wait to get home and try this because it adds so much to the game. You know, a cooperative mode, a two-player duel mode, really cool stuff. Star Wars. Uh, why is this? Oh, Star Wars Cosmos, yeah. All right. I'm sure it's lovely. And, oh, some more Cosmos stuff over here. Here's Steamtine, again, from Rudiger Dorn. I believe this is only here in German. I would have happily, although it's language independent, I would have happily picked up a copy. But, again, the voters said no. It did not get enough votes. So you'll just this will just have to do... Uh, I'm sure it's a great game. Rudiger Dorn is a fantastic designer. And Machi Koro, less said the better. An actual novel, a book, based on the legends of Andor's. Let's see. Spoilers, everybody. There it is. Der Aufbruch. All right. Chen and Torn didn't actually make it to the show. So this, is one of the only, this is one of the five copies in existence right here. They just got the demos, and they got this one. And... Uh, Oh, it's a good thing it's in German, because I might not be able to control myself otherwise. And then, oh, this is that flicking, yeah, this is that flicking dice game where you flick dice back and forth. I could actually, no, no one's going to see. Uh, up, up. Pew. Oh, I suck. And, I'll knock that one down. Pew. Oh, I suck again. Pew. Oh, I can't do it at all. Okay, there we go. That's a good time to stop. Bob, gotcha. Okay, come here, box, let's go. Ah, I told you folks, this is going to be a while. Let's see here. Coming over, there's more Cosmos. Obviously, Cosmos really uh, pulled out all the stops with all these big, you know, royal setups for a lot of space for a little tiny game that has just sat here for most of the show not being looked at by anybody. And let's see, Maze Racers. I know this is really cool. This was at Gen Con. The, be, uh, the Board Game Geek folks really loved it. Uh, players actually make mazes and then try to actually get the ball to go through the maze. And you know, basically, they make a maze for each other in a certain amount of time, and then they've only got so much time to do it. I mean, this is actually, this is, this is pretty cool. Although this is an impossible maze, obviously. But that does look like a lot of fun. Great for families. And then some Crossmaster Madness. This stuff is so gorgeous. Oh, this makes me wish Jen and I played these kinds of games. 
because these things, oh, they're just such wonderful, lovely toys. Oh, although, looks like, oh dear, oh no, this little guy, all the king's horses could not help him. Oh dear, oh wow, the press, the press, the press can be rough. They're really not taking good care of those at all. Okay, let's see what else we got. <clears throat> so, general ship. I've never heard of this. But you guys can decide for yourself if it looks like an interesting game to you. Looks very, very warlike. From the 4th century BC to the 19th century. Take my skin. Make my skin a drumhead for the Bohemian cause. Okay. Ah. Oh, here's Ludicreation. This is where I should have put Jen's sign because she's at the Ludicreations booth in case anybody, no, no one's going to see this video in time. Falcon Imperium, I've done a run through for it. It's great. Microfilms, I, I want to play this before I go because it looks like a lot of fun. And I, you know, really at its best. Oh, and then, and then we held hands. So, um, yeah, these are really big glass pieces. But the interesting thing is, Jen's making custom glass pieces, and I think she sold out of all the ones she made for the show, but you can go to her website, jennifer.net, and see more. But the important thing is, the wonderful Marie Cardinois, you know, Dixit artist's art for enraged and betrayed all. That, that's actually really clever. Ah, uh, that is very nice. Depressed. Um, well, I've already done the run, so I won't have to talk about the game much. Yeah, and actually, there's a couple more really cool games Ludicreations Creations had this year, but they're both too mean-spirited for me and Jen. One about this royal rabbit couple who are getting a divorce and trying to split up their community property with big... It looks really, really cool. And then this Operation Kindergarten, which is basically kind of a war game. The playground is a battleground where we are teachers trying to get all the kids of different ages, which are represented by the little babies and the, the youngsters and then the older kids. And we're trying to get our colored kids back to our area and we're you know, interfering with everybody else. It looks like a really clever dice worker pool placement game. But again, too mean for me and Jen. Bye, Ludic Creations. And let's see. On to, I don't see the name of the publisher. I don't recognize any of these things. It looks like a bunch of uh, Deutsche family friendly style games. Uh, just going ahead and pan over them quickly. And then we have Elfinland. Yeah, this has been, oh, this finally got its big super deluxe reprint this year, right? I don't really know anything about Elfinland, but it looks nice. It looks really pretty. That's all I can say. Here's the other side of all those German things in case anybody wants to freeze frame. And um, ask what's what. All right, so that's it for that. Let's see. Oh, the Portal of Molthar. That sounds. <laughs> and this again. This I mean, this is wood. This is a real wood table that they made for this. I assume for um, this little card game. All right. Has nice art. Looks. I I don't know anything about this game. But uh, other than apparently. Which publisher? Oh, Amigo really went. Amigo is big into the portal of Molthar. Okay. And then, private, oh, some little party game, I guess. I guess. All right. Let's pick up the box. Got a way anchor. Ugh, what's in the box? I'm sure everybody's asking. You'll find out when I get home. After I uh, take my final count, if I can even get all the games home. It's been crazy this year, folks. Absolutely insane. Nitroglycerol. Das Spiel, das Aula auf mich. You can tell we're in Germany, right? These are, this, this can't be liquid. Oh my God, this is liquid. All right. Okay. I don't know if this game, as, I, I, I remember this. Yeah, this is something about, you know, the, the pieces falling down to actually make your potions. I don't know what the real liquid is for, but I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to drink it. No, I'm not going to drink it. Folks, you can't make me drink it. That's crazy. Let's see here. Buttons. That looks like a nice, colorful game about buttons. That is nice. Okay, let's see here. Moving on to some nice-looking abstract games. And some nice-looking little card games, of which I have never heard. Hello. Hi, the nice guy. Um, a what? A nice guy. Yes. yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, what, what is that you're smoking? Oh, that's not smoking. It's, it's a steam. It's a vaporizer. Oh, okay. So you're vaping, right? Yeah. Is that the term? Yes. yes. Vaping, yeah. Very nice. So please continue. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your vape. Take care. Uh, yeah. So Herb is, I was really interested in this one. I didn't, I didn't have enough time to look at it. I only kind of, they only announced it really, really late. I mean, and this goblin dice looks really cool. Looks like goblins racing, dice rolling. I don't know. I don't understand why publishers wait until the last possible second 
Um, they should have announced that a month ago, so I would actually know what that game is. Although these family games, of course, well, that's just not my style, is it? Circuit boards. That looks really cool. How do you actually skate? All right, so you make a cool ramp, you do all that stuff. Where's the actual skate pieces? I don't know. Uh, apparently they didn't put that out. Ooh, yeah, this is very cool. Race for the North Pole. I did pick up a copy of this. I was so nervous about this game because um, when I originally read the rules, it was all, I mean, you can tell from the b box, this is a mean race with everybody racing to get to the North Pole first and knocking each other down. But, um, and the way you do it is, well, everybody's racing, trying to move, and there's all these blockers all over the place, but certain events will cause the board to rotate and that totally changes the maze and um and all kinds of stuff it's and th this is this, i've seen a final production copy of this I, I picked one up the day it's incredibly smooth and these are little plexiglass windows so people can stand on oh this is where i was i was gonna be able to move north and oh no the whole world moved and now there's a wall in front of me i can't move north anymore and you have kind of this programmed movement thing that you're so everybody can see what you're planning to do it looks really really clever i cannot wait to get home and give it a try Tiny robots I have not heard of. Looks like, look, reminds me of the, those old pipe builder video games, though. Let's see here. Let's leave the box for a second. Sun fight. Bun fight. I don't know. And terrain taxes. I don't know. Okay, what else we got? Oh, uh, Haithabu? Let's see here. I, I can't say anything about this game other than it's from Spielworks. I did pick up a copy. Uh, looks surprisingly colorful. And I have to admit, so I can't wait to give it a try. Cthulhu Realms, I've already done a run through for. Here's some more of the old Galaxy Defenders. Jolly Roger. Uh, comics. Ah, oh, this is heartbreaking. They were supposed to, um, they, these didn't show up. So they only have demos of this. I was looking forward to picking up a copy of this. Um, but I've talked about it a lot in prior podcasts and whatnot. I'm really, really stoked for Leo Konami's uh, Odyssey. It looks really, really great. I'm surprised they didn't set up the whole way because what you do is, yeah, see, it looks like you can see on the box here, you actually use the box. What, players are on one side, um, Poseidon is on the other side. He's manipulating the seas and the ships, and the players don't know where they actually are, and they're trying just to get home and not smash into rocks all over the place, while Poseidon is trying to trick them into thinking there's someplace that they're not. It looks really, really cool. I cannot wait to give it a try. Sales of Glory, not my play, not my thing. I can't remember that, that crazy game that's been around forever. And the Black Hat, the, the programming hacking game. All right. So back to the box, back moving on. What are we at, folks? We're at 22 minutes. We're maybe, maybe halfway through. For people who'd like to take a break, Ta Taverna, man, I really should check this out. It looks gorgeous. This is a stunning looking game of players trying to fill up taverns. And there's all these different taverns on the board, trying to score points. I'm not really quite sure how, but man, this looks really gorgeous. This is a sweet, sweet production from Prix Ludinord, or no, Geek Attitude Games. I don't know if the game's any good or not, but it looks, it looks beautiful. And then Kumo, oh man. So look at these dice, look at these big old sumo wrestler dice, uh, big, chunky, is this wood? Wooden. And obviously, depending on how they come up, uh, as you move them around, they let you do different things as you're maneuvering around in this big old sumo pit, trying to push each other, throw each other, just get everybody. Wow. This is not wood. This is heavy. This, this is thick. This, is, this, this feels like stone. Um, so this, wow, they really knocked the production out of the park on this. This looks stunning. And I just knocked my mic down. And a really nice box insert, too. Let's see if I can get my mic to come back on. I'm going to have to put the camera down here for a second, folks. Sorry. Okay. All right. Looks like people, I don't know, they set up what they want to do with their dice, and then they move around on the board. They, they do something. But, wow, Kumo, that just looks stunning. That is eye-catching. Between Two Cities, latest from Jamie Stegmeyer. I'm sure it's great, but I, well, from what I saw, it was not great for two players. Your Crisis, a three-player game, so I don't know much about it. Big Book of Madness, I picked it up. We'll see how it is. I don't know. I still don't have any idea. Other than the fact that, like all yellow games, it is gobsmackingly gorgeous. Just beautiful, beautiful art. The whole concept that there's this book, and every time you turn the page, a new monster comes out. Players have to work cooperatively in a deck builder to beat all these monsters. And finally, close the book and save the day from the Big Book of Madness. So, I love the conceit. We'll see how the gameplay is. This is another one of those family, from the family line of games, uh, my little riding hood, Sapiens. This looks so gorgeous, but it's so mean. Nyet, not our style, Manhattan, traffic with an IQ. 
I don't know what this is. Oh, but it's all glued down again. I love these. That's... Apparently, somebody told me last year that some games were actually stolen from this room. Oh, advent calendar. This is crazy. This looks like a gigantic box. It's light as a feather. What this is, and I picked one of these up, is an advent calendar for promos. There's a promo in here for a game. There's a promo in here for a game. And day two, and where's day three? Day three and day four. And so every day leading up to Christmas in December, you open another one and you find another promo. Now, you can kind of tell what's, I mean, you know, that's obviously Orleans, and I think that's Isle of Sky, and obviously that's Marvel Dice Masters probably, and there's Rococo, and so on. So you can kind of tell, but you can go online and see what a list of all these promos are, but I can't wait. What I'm planning to do in December is every day, Jen and I, we're going to film ourselves opening it up, taking out the promo. I'll look at the promo. We'll talk about what it is. So it's going to be a very fun December for this thing. It's gigantic, though. The hardest part is going to be getting it back home because it does not um, pack very well. Let's see. Oh, um... Ancient Terrible Things, I've done a run-through for that a while ago. House der Son. I had dismissed this because the description on Board Game Geek said it was actually a very aggressive game where players are actually, everybody's trying to build up, you know, their stuff. I guess this moves around. But that players are trying to use the volcano to destroy each other. And that was a typo. That was a misprint. It turns out players don't attack each other in the game. It looks very pretty, but I already passed on it because of a bad translation on Board Game Geek. That was so sad because it looks really nice. Let's see, and then we've got Pie Face. Apparently, they, well, there's a big mess here. They must have been doing something. And that Magic the Gathering Plains Runner, Rockers thing. Where's my box? There, it's way back there. It's still fine. Captain Black. Wow. I wonder how much publishers are spending on this. But, geez louise, look at this. All right, so it's a big box already. But this is not some giant size. This is, uh, here's my hand. This is how big this is. This, this is what, two and a half feet long? It must be, but it must be over a foot. I mean, yeah, this may be 14 inches. Sorry, I don't know my metrics, folks. And then this crazy thing, Captain Black himself. Oh my gosh, this is, and so I guess Captain moves around from area to area, he must. And I, oh, wow, some assembly required, but that is astonishing. Um, I don't know what the game is like, but you can't fault for components. Let's see here. And then, oh, Seven Wonders Duel. I was just told today they're sold out. So, I, and um, the, my contact at Repost, who said, don't worry, we'll give you a review copy, uh, is nowhere to be found. I've swung by like three times, and she's never there. I'm hoping I'll be able to pick up a copy of this to do a review, um, because if not, well, this is all you're going to get from me. Although, again, look at this. They spared no expense. This is crazy. But... Very, very nice. Let's see. What else we got? Um, oh, uh, Seven Wonders Playmat. I never understand the point of these things, but it seems very nice. <laughs> um, okay. More cash guns. Oh, Alchemist. And uh, Taste Bone. Okay. So, so let's just quickly go back and get our box. D, D, D. And then we will continue. Onward and upward. Okay. Come here. You are... All right, moving on to the next section, everybody. Hope you're having a nice day. Uh, I, uh, my throat is completely ripped raw. Before I came up here, I got um, a scoop of vanilla ice cream to try and uh, smooth it out, but it's starting to wear thin. Ah, Rome, rise, city of marble. Um, wow, that actually looks really nice. I'd seen pictures of it before, and I was worried that, you know, this kind of, wait, trapezoid, is that right? Um, I forget what this is, but these kind of diamond shapes wouldn't end up looking very nice. But actually, it looks really nice in person. I don't know if you can tell, but that has a really kind of nice organic feel to it. That, looks, that could be a pretty cool game. <coughs> and Mombasa, I have picked that up. Uh, looks like a big, interesting game. Wow, okay. I'm starting to get that tickle in my throat, folks. Now, hold on a second. Do I still have any? Oh. <coughs> I have some Ricola. Uh, let's, let's talk amongst yourselves. It's Haba stuff. Um, ah, as I try to get out my Ricola. There we go. Ah, Tui. <coughs> Alrighty. Oh, some more Haba. Haba, Haba, Haba. Haba, Haba, Haba. Never going to have children, so not interesting to me. I already have all the Dominion stuff and the Patchwork stuff and the Isle of Sky stuff. Sifka. What do we got here? Hmm, I don't know. It looks very pretty. Are these meerkats, I guess? I'm not sure. 
but all right, a hack trick, another hacking game. Antarctica, oh yeah, this looks every bit as good as I thought it was gonna look. This is, a, this is a very striking game. I did pick up a copy of it. Cannot wait to get home and give it a go. <coughs> uh, Simurg, also stunning looking game from MSK and They just keep raising their game. Game after game after game. What are these, are these, is this wood? I think this is wood, this might be acrylic. No, yeah, okay, these are plastic acrylic pieces for all your your dragons and whatnot. I know this is a world like kind of Dragon Riders of Pern where people have tamed dragons and so you ride dragons, you breed dragons, etc., etc. Mistfall, I've already done a run through for. Hopefully you folks could see all that because um, the sun was completely blinding my screen. I couldn't see what I was actually filming there for a second. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Ja, Harun Meister. Oh, this is um, I Dark Overlord expansions, I guess. Hmm. Admiral's Order. Cute little ships, I guess. I guess. More cute little ships. Okay. And card art. And Nimt. Nimt. And somebody's already left. And sandcastles. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, obviously, some kind of tile laying game with cards. Don't know. From Yay Games. Jen always said if I was ever going to start my own video game company, she wanted it to be called Yay Games. I should really tell her that somebody's finally done it. Yay Games UK. 504, one of the big hits of the game. Does it work? I don't know. But I don't know if you can tell from the video, it looks really nice. This is these, these kind of odd shaped tiles, really, really very um, kind of organic and friendly feeling. I mean, uh, no straight lines. I have, to, I have to applaud them for that production decision. Because I guess the game itself, you know, um, must be relatively dry just to make its, you know, 504 different games work. Oh, here's the buck. Let's look at the buck. All right. So let's say I am, oh, it's off Deutsch, of course, but I'll play this plus this plus this. And this is my game. These are the rules that define how I'm going to play game number, well, I don't know. What's the, what are the numbers? Um, I don't know. It's all in German. But I've got an English copy. Can't wait to give it a go. Very exciting. There's some more Power Grid stuff. Um, I don't know what this is. It must be some kind of trivia thing or something like that. And, uh, just gonna, and here's an even bigger one for 360 stories. Okay. Let's go back. We got Favor the Pharaoh. And oh, that's the backside stuff. Okay, is this all backside? Yes, it is. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, some more kid family fun stuff. What is this? Oh, I think they had this stuff here. What? What is this? It looks like sand. It comes up. It's just, this is not natural. Science has made an abomination of whatever this is. Oh my gosh, this is really, I, I, don't, know what to, I don't know how to describe it. It's very strange. It's cold, or it's cool to the touch. It flakes apart like, I don't know, like really, like it's like watery, but it's not. Ah, oh, it's weird. And then of course, I'm sure you can, um, you know, make, yeah, so you can, you know, make a little thing. Oh, and this one's kind of hardened up, but now it's not. Oh my. That is weird. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm sure I would have loved that if I was a kid. Terra, supposedly. A, oh, Monite Night Vampire. Very nice trivia game, apparently. So I've been led to believe. And some, oh, Con Conquest Stratego. Well, that is a nice looking version of Stratego with all the little hidden stuff. Oh, and it goes in all directions. Oh my. That's kind of an upgrade from the old two player of my Ute. Ad, uh, Adventuria. I have missed this completely. Das Schwarz Auge. The Black Eye. Is it Auge, right? Is I? I think. I don't know. Here's Hacken Joe. He's a mensch. Now he's a man. He's a pirate. He's got stats and stuff, I guess. And Orkenstrom. So I don't, again, I, I do not know. Uh, so many games this year, folks. It's absolutely insane. I cannot. All right. Ooh, all right. Super Dungeon Explorer, yeah, super cool minis, as you would expect. And then, what is this? Ent Entfesselt. Also, very cool minis. Very, very neat. If you like minis fighting other minis and killing other minis and killing and fighting, we. Right. Um, a whole bunch of stuff I haven't heard of. Looks like lots of family fun here. Heng Hengist from Uwe Rosenberg, very excited about that. Grand Austria Hotel, got the both of those, very excited about both of them. The CS Files is not a two-player game, sorry folks. I don't know. And Doom Rock, I've already, I've already um, raved about Doom Rock so much. I met him again this year. He's such a nice guy. Um, 
You could accuse it of being a bribery, but the designer, he was so happy with the run-throughs I did. Although, again, I did those run-throughs because I love the game. But he got me a Rotto Care package. I have no idea what this is. What's in there? Oh my, mirrors. So does this come out? Well, that's pretty neat. I don't know what it is, but it is pretty neat. Anyway, so that care package, he got me, he had just gone to a local grocery store and he got a bunch of chocolates and stuff like that and, and some beer and some booze. And of course, I don't drink. Um, there's a big bottle of vodka. And uh, so it's very much appreciated. We've been having dessert on him every, every night. And our host will very much appreciate. Oh, crap. I totally forgot. I haven't picked up German railroads yet. Dang it. Oh, I got to get over there. All right. Well, I'll have to worry about that later. Although I am running out of time. I wonder what time it is. Um, but anyway, continuing on. Mombasa, again, and my village is on the other side. And Porta Negra from Kramer and Kiesling. I cannot wait. That's in my top five must film when I get home. Robinson Crusoe, Camel Up. And um, not Camel Cup. I confirmed that directly with the, uh, the folks at Pegasus. Although, it turns out, it's a very funny story why it's called Camel Up and not Camel Cup, but I don't think I can talk about it here. It's a little racy, the story. But anyway, oh, this, is, this looks so neat. Um, you know, it's kind of like, a, what do you call it, Hanabi, where you can't see your pieces and everybody can see your pieces and you're trying to figure out how to cast spells and whatnot. So, but a bit too mean-spirited for us. Some more Castle Panic goodness. Octo Dice. I cannot wait to play this. A dice game version of Stefan Feld's Aquasphere. Stefan Feld did not design it, but Ralph Brun, who is basically Stefan Feld's, Stefan Feld's kind of silent design partner who does all the editing on his games, he worked on it, so he was very closely involved. Very stoked about that one. My Village. Oh, I haven't, got, I haven't seen it yet. Dice game set in the village, just as deep as the village. Very, very cool. More Imperial Settler stuff. All right, what do we got here? Um, 70 Hero. Again, all in German. Very nice art. But I don't know. <laughs> um, sorry, folks. I'm saying I don't know a lot. Okay, that's it for that table. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Okay, this is not quite life size. I've ridden a camel in, um, in Morocco. But, I mean... I'm looking up. This is taller than me. This is a, what am I? I'm 6'3". This is almost seven feet tall. Oh, and so soft. Good camel. Watch out. They spit. But, um, and what did they bring? A gigantic Marco Polo box. I would like to play a game of Marco Polo with components that big. That would be absolutely insane. Um, and an even bigger box of Marco Polo. But then there's the real game down there. Great, great game, which I've already done a run through for. And Spinderella. Oh, wow. What is this? Is this some kind of magnet thing? What is going on here? So, oh my gosh. So I do this? Do I move the, And I move this around? And I, do I, what do I do? And I, I, so I probably have to move these on a grid. I probably have to do some kind of... And then the string makes it go up or down. Wow. This is so cool. Why don't they make games like this for adults? You know, for um, Euro fans. Why does all these always have to be for families and kids? As an adult, I could very much enjoy this if it were like a nice deep Euro game with this kind of mechanism. Look how awesome this is. Oh well, once again, there's a lot of upsides to not having kids as well, but I will not get to experience something as cool as that. That is real. Oh, and then here's a gigantic size. Wow. Okay. Again, with real wood and all that. Der Yacht der, der, Yacht der Macht. Okay. They might want to put the game out. They did not actually put out the game. They just... Okay. All right, moving on. Um, Pegasus. Uh, some family-friendly Pegasus games from Pegasus Vila. Okay. There's the old trusty box again. Pegasus Vila. And what do we got over here? Oh, some, some RPG books and cards. And <clears throat> there's a big gigantic ad for 3D mod... Ooh. Again, would have been nice to actually see this in real life. It must have been one in here. Uh, I must be gone. But anyway, so you must be thinking, well, oh, that was crazy, Rado. Surely you're done by now. Surely we can uh, go back to our regular daily lives. Come on, box. Don't mess with me. There we go. But no, folks, we ain't done yet. Let's go. There's a whole nother room we got to go to. And I will try to get there as quick as possible. Feel free. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Oh, now another nice thing about this press room. Um, 
bathrooms. <laughs> we members of the press do not have to mix with the uh, lowly showgoers. We have our own private bathrooms that are nice and not smelly and not overcrowded and no having to wait in line. Oh, here's some more games. Pardon me, everybody. Hello. Hello. So Hello. it's Akia. You it's guys. Not from us. No. Okay. So you have nothing to say about this. And I've never heard of Akia, but perhaps if this looks interesting to anybody at home, you can go check it out. And Lord of the Ice Garden. As you were, they're, now they're all being very polite and not saying anything. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. This is not a professional operation here at all. I am just a guy with a camera making a fool of myself in public. Okay. Uh, yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah. Ciao. Yeah. Danke. <laughs> so, oh, some tiny epics. I've already done tiny. Oh, I've never done tiny epic kingdoms. Sorry if you can't. Uh, the, the, the sun is really strong here. Yeah, but anyway, I've already filmed um, Tiny Epic Defenders, and I loved it, and I will... Well, let's not open that can of worms, shall we? Sly Dice. Looks like a... Oh, Game of Trains. This looks really nice. I've heard p good things about it. I really should read the rules about it. Or I could just... Yoink! But I will not do that, as tempting as it is. And, and not just because I'm being filmed, and they would be able to find me. Double Mission. I read the rules for this one. But I did not get an impression that it was going to work very well with two, in all honesty. And Denko, they broke my heart once on patch history. I won't let them break my heart again. Great game, but just terrible. Oh, here again is that Celestia and that crazy, crazy, just absolutely lovely. This dirigible is moving from cloud to cloud to cloud. It's a push your luck thing. When do you jump out and score your points, or do you keep going trying to get to the end? Really neat game. Pyrotoons. Pyrotoons looks very, oh yeah, this is a real-time auction game where you're bidding with your meeples to get all these different pieces to bring over here to build your ship bigger and bigger and bigger. This is the real-time, you know, making bids, uh, again, I don't know if you can see, making bids and raising them, um, raising other people, outbidding them to try to get the perfect pieces for your ship and then building them. It looks really, really cool. I can't wait to try it. I hope I get to pick it up, but the guy I'm supposed to pick it up for is never there, or he's there, but he's always talking to somebody else. I'm like, dude, I just need to get my review copy. Dude, looks like Story Cubes have left the building, folks. Uh, here on the last day, crabs, uh, looks very colorful. Okay, this is it. We're to the final room up ahead. A little bit more stuff to see. Attila, yeah, this is really nice looking. These are wood, I think. Again, oh, darn you, sun. Blasted sun, blasted shadow. Can't really see anything. Need some overcast. Uh, Poilettes, uh, <laughs> what is this? This is, uh, we're, we're chickens and we're kind of scratching around in the yard. Um, you know, trying as fast as we can to find the right worms that we need, um, hoping not to get, you know, nothing. Looked cute, but the, pay, the voter said no, don't get that one, Rado. So I didn't. Even though I think Jen would have loved it because she loves chickens. This is it, folks. We're almost done. 42 minutes in, one more room to go. Let's talk about 3D puzzles. Ver, versk, uh, Farzug. All right, that's neat. I can see that being kind of fun to build that or to build that out of those. <laughs> the, yeah, that, that's, I've never really seen Superman's hair quite like that. Let's see, wh where do we want to go? Um, switching trains. All right, box, stay. Oh, stop, knock it off. Switching trains. I don't know. I've heard it, I've heard the name, but I can't say anything. Oh, I really feel bad. I think last year I did much, much better. I didn't have to say I've never heard of this as much, but this year it's just been insane. So many, many games. Impossible to keep track of all. We're already done Among the Stars and Dice City. Hooray! Newman. That seems to be some cute dice. Pursuit of Happiness. I'm super stoked about this. Pursuit of Happiness represents a... a my, or Pursuit of Happiness in games like it. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to talk about this at some point. I, I can't talk about it. Now. I'm exhausted. But, okay. Uh, Project Elite. Right. Hey, look, everybody. It's a whole bunch of minis. Very, very colorful. Very, very bright. I'm sure a lot of people are saying, hey, don't walk away. Let's talk about it. Let's look at these minis. Hey, bus, what do you say? Let's see if I just put it down, kind of zoom in, start looking at some of these in detail. There's the bus. All right, there he is. And here is the, uh, the, big, oops, right, 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 right. the big alien queen with some little legs sticking out and all that. And uh, what do we got here? Here's more like one of the standard little runner shooter guys. I can't remember the names of all of them. And yeah, I mean... There's no getting around it. I mean, there, there's detail here. 
And you can see the original intent of the details here, but there's no getting around it. They are a bit blobby. It's really weird too. These are very soft plastic, but they are super soft. Woo, woo. These are, um, <laughs> I mean, they are really very, very giving, these things. Um, and, you know, and some of them came out better than others. Like, you know, these, this is the most common. Um, oh, come on. Come on, camera. All right, put it back down. Zoom in. Hopefully that'll be better. You going to get a camera? There you go. All right. So this is the most common unit. And I think it's one of the ones that actually came out better than others. So that's actually not bad. But then you got this. And yeah, this is a big, scary thing. But unfortunately, not for the reason that was originally intended by the artist who designed it. And, um, you know, then you got, you know, again, they're okay. The important thing is the quality of these miniatures does not affect the gameplay at all. And quite frankly, on some level, it's kind of nice to have these big blobby things tactily because in, when you're playing the game, you're, you know, oh, and you're, you're panicking. You've seen my video. You know how this is. Just having these really kind of very soft plasticky things actually in some ways kind of enhances the game. When Jen and I played our prototype where we had more traditional feeling things that were kind of hard and brittle, it was unpleasant on our hands to actually reach these. These are soft and giving, but they did not work out as well as they perhaps could have. Um, although again, some of them certainly did better than others. So, you know, here's a really good look at, you know, the big guy, although even still the face, the face. Um, so for anybody who's been following the brouhaha about Project Elite online, I actually sat down and I talked with um, the guys from Artipia Games yesterday and asked, so guys, what happened? And they said, yeah, we look we know. We realize that this did not work out as well as anybody had hoped. And we realize there is definitely a problem here. And we are, and now he talked to me at great length about the story behind how these miniatures turned out. We talked about it for a long time and he swore me to secrecy. He was telling me stuff that he just cannot talk about publicly, you know, for various business reasons. All he was willing to say, Constantinos, you know, the head of Artipia Games is, look, we know, we understand, we hear you, please bear with us, we are doing everything we can to make this right. That is a direct quote. I asked him, Constantinos, is that a direct quote? I can say, Constantinos says, we know, we are doing what we are, we are, no, actually that's not what he said. He said, we are going to make this right. And they're working on that. And by they, I mean Artipia and Draw Lab. The, the, um, Artipia made the game. Artipia made the board. Artipia made the uh, pieces. Artipia made the cards, you know, and the dice. And Draw Lab made the miniatures. And the two companies are working to try to figure out how to resolve this issue. So if everybody could please be patient. This is, uh, you know, basically the message I got from Constantine. They understand. They are working on it. You know, they basically decided not to ship. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back to this. They decided not to ship the game until, or, you know, to backers and whatnot. So, um, so that they can get it resolved. They said, you know, Constantino said that they're, there's no promises here, but his intention is to make it right for everybody so that everybody gets miniatures of the quality that were originally envisioned for this game. And that's not what's available right now. Now, all I have to say is if you have a chance to play this game right now, it's hella fun. And the quality of the miniatures doesn't matter at all. Not at all. Uh, and, in, and like I said, in some ways, tactily, I would say these miniatures are, are almost an improvement over standard miniatures. I mean, you don't have to worry about breaking them. I, when I did my run through, I broke a couple of these miniatures. Um, you yeah, actually one of them on film. So anyway, that's the story of Project Elite. That's what, our, that's what I was told I could say. They know the problem. They, um, they're going to make it right. So what that means? Well, time will tell because these things take time to fix. Everybody, please understand it takes time. There's multiple steps. There's multiple companies involved, et cetera, et cetera. But in the meantime, let's move on and talk about other games. Uh, Domus Domni and Spiel den Leben and Potion Explosion. Oh, man, this looks so cool. Let's see, let's see if I can. It looks like it's been messed up. Oh, here, knock it off. Ah, hurry, there we go. So let's get these marbles out of the way because they've all been messed up. I did not mess this one up. All right, but anyway, so you can see it's got all these marbles, right? That's neat and fine and dandy. These all represent potion elements you need to make potions. You've got all these targets on these potion things. And I guess what you do is you say, wee, and woohoo, ah. So, and 
So then you say, okay, what am I going to do? I guess I will take a black. And boom, hey, I've just made three of a kind. Oh, so I get this. Bip, bop, boop. And that's it. I didn't make any more three of a kinds. But that's the game. This is basically Bejeweled, the board game. Very clever physical design. Haven't played it. Don't know how well it plays, but really like the physical idea behind it. Really neat. A bunch of neat dice for, I don't know what this is, Light of Dragons. Again, how many games? Why, why haven't I heard of this? These are neat looking dice. Oh, maybe, I, heck, maybe this is, and I, I heard about it, but I decided, this, this is probably some kind of tactical skirmish war game with really cool dice. That's probably why I skipped it. And then we get in some party games, some fun family games, Top Face, Alien War is very cool and colorful, and uh, Lutz, um, some flick ball, some eco. Wow, this is nice looking. These are really nice. These are, are these wood? Yes, they are wood. Obviously some kind of territory acquisition game, stacking pieces up. I don't think it comes with all this sand. I think, uh, but you know, that's a really nice presentation. Um, sand sold separately, I'm sure. Expo 1906, I ended up picking up a copy of this. Actual plan, I've done a run through four, Curse of the Black Dice. I think this one had too much pirate on pirate action for us. Some, uh, what do you call it? Oh, thrash and roll. Sorry, uh, yes, what is this? Waste Nights. Looks really great. If you're looking for post-apocalypse, Mad Max stuff, looks nice. Thrash and Roll, love it. Let's see if I can find it. Um, nope, okay, they don't have it here. Um, spoiler alert, everybody. I'm in this game. They did do a card of me. It looks really cool. It's me holding a camera. Uh, very, very neat. Heroes done a run through four. Magnets looks like a really neat game, but way too much blind bidding. Jen and I, maybe our second least favorite uh, gameplay mechanism. Some kind of, ooh, look at all that stuff. Very, very neat. Here's an example. What are these? These are just wood, right? Yeah, they're just wood. Just basically dominoes. I will not knock those over. Shouldn't touch them anymore. Polyphony's box of every single expansion that's ever come out, which I did run through for. Polyphony's a card game. Can't wait. This is a really neat looking game about building lighthouses. Uh, it's a, uh, and I guess it's about transportation of the goods out to the work sites, but weather can mess up your transportation, so I'm really stoked about this. Brick Party. Some more not Lego Legos. Is this again? Oh, this is, is this IBO. I'm surprised all these companies can make these very obvious Lego knockoffs, but I guess it works out okay. And I've t I was told this is really good. I should really check this out, but I think I'm running out of time. Dark Tales of Nadaris. Uh, oh, my. Wow. Okay. So, a bunch of secret stuff, but that's all I know. Hi, everybody. Sorry. Hi. I'm being very loud. Apologies. Uh. Uh, it's almost over. I'm almost done, everybody. Um, London After Midnight and Dark Matter Through the Ages. Okay, yeah. Got to spend a little bit of time. This is such a fantastic, fantastic art upgrade for the classic game. It's so, so nice. They have really, CGE totally knocked it out of the park on this. It looks so amazing. And, you know, like the, uh, the deluxe upgrade they did, what was it, last year, I think? You know, all the really nice-looking cubes. I'm surprised that these don't have little divots in them. I kind of would have expected them to go super deluxe, but I'm sure that would have cost too much. But, I mean, this game is stunning. It now looks as good as it should look, considering it's been in the top ten on Board Game Geek forever, for good reason. Prodigal Club can't wait. Galaxy Truckers can't wait. Codenames can't wait. Allies Realms of Wonder. All right, so you got cards that... Go around in different directions. They have, um, I don't know. Looks neat. I don't know. Here's a full rule book, but it's Alf Deutsch. So, um, some kind of this backgammony. Oh, these are, looks like plastic tokens moving around. Block out. Some more family stuff. Amphipolis. From Reiner Knizia, this is uh, trying to get all the treasures out of the uh, out of locations before it all collapses on you and get out with the most treasure. But unfortunately, surprisingly mean game. I read the rules. And Oath of Brotherhood, which looks like a very, very neat worker placement game. Kind of, from what I've read the rules, kind of in the vein of, what do you call it, Lords of Waterdeep, but pirate-themed. And with the board constantly changing as new locations are discovered all over the place for people to explore and do new stuff. You got, oh my god, Crazy Bullets singing, a, a, a trio of little light games. And, oh my gosh, folks, I think that's it. I think we're done. Okay. Oh, and thanks for watching, everybody. That was the Essen 2015 Press Room. 
I'm very, 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 wait, oh, nope, 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 sorry, hello, not quite done yet, Clockwork Wars, well, I think that came out of Gen Con this year, so it's already been out for a while, neat looking little game, and what do we have, oh, all right, oh, Gal Gallerist, I've already done a run through for this, so you everybody's already seen that, and then we have Empires, oh, The Age of Discovery, the new, um, yeah, looks great, of course, the uh, miniatures, this is a worker placement game where your workers are really, really cool looking. They still look great like they always have. They're even better now. This board looks lovely. A wonderful, wonderful production. This baseball highlights. Everybody keeps saying I need to try it. Even though you hate baseball, you'll love it. You'll love it, we swear. But they sold out, so no luck this year. And then Duel Spiel mit mir das Spiel vom Todd. Okay, it's dueling. Okay, now. Now we're done. I need some water, everybody. I'm very thirsty. And um, I'm going to shut up now so everybody can enjoy the tomb-like silence of this room. I, I, know, I, I feel so bad for everybody cramped downstairs and they could just come up here, enjoy really nice clean bathrooms, and look at every game they want at length. But I um, guess you got to get your press credentials in order, and uh, like I did. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed this. See you again next year from Spiel. So long. Bye-bye.